Soldiers call actress Alain Martinuk by the call sign Bridget. She has been volunteering on the front line in eastern Ukraine since 2014 and has visited all the flashpoints. I take all the necessary things there. Cars, medicine, sites, range finders, equipment and food. Absolutely everything that can help us achieve the victory of our country. I also help foster children. There is an orphanage near Avdivka for children brought from the Grey Zone. They now live in Chasivyar. And there is a girl who lives near Shirokina. The Ukrainian Amazons are four women, soldiers and volunteers, with unique stories and personalities, the organizers say. For example, Yulia, with the call sign The Wild One, came her right from the hospital where she's undergoing rehabilitation. She says it inspires her and that she needs us in such times. As you'll see, they were wearing combat boots and we put them in these outfits. Each of the women received a vishivanka, an embroidered national costume from a certain region of the country, west, east, central and southern Ukraine. All the outfits are authentic and were worn by Ukrainian women in the last century. Almost all of the Ukrainian regions created very diverse clothing. It's a code of our nation, encrypted in a vishvanka from every region. Here is a shirt from Poltava region, white embroidery and white clothes, and a Poltava costume. It's from the end of the 19th century. An embroidered shirt is a symbol and a signature of Ukraine, says Lesia Voronuk, the founder of the International Vishivanka Day. Our main goal as organizers of this holiday is to promote Ukrainian culture while also preserving and reviving it. The main thing is to make the real, true, authentic culture more popular, which hasn't been rewritten during different historic periods. This is very important now, in the times of a hybrid information war into which Ukraine was drawn. Thanks to such holidays and such projects, we prove once again to ourselves and the world that we are an ancient, independent nation. The final result of the project will be five-metre portraits of the Ukrainian Amazons, created by an Australian street artist, Gildo van Helen. First, his works will be presented in the Misteski Arsenal Gallery in Kyiv, then in the House of Ukraine in the United States.